welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a what I eat in the day. I am currently in a weight loss challenge and just trying to get into shape and lose those COVID pounds that I feel like so many of us got. I feel like you really went one way or the other, like you worked out the entire quarantine or you watch Netflix and head snacks. So I was the latter, but <laughs> um, I asked you guys over on Instagram if you wanted to kind of see me document my weight loss and all of that. So I am starting this video off doing that. So I am eating 1500 calories a day. I had a friend of mine go over all of like my nutrition and all of that stuff. She trains people for like weight loss, um, bikini contests and like muscle, like whatever those are called, <laughs> I guess like bikini competitions, I guess. But, um, so I have a list of like foods approved from her. I'm sticking to it for the most part. Um, I could eat more if I wanted to, like depending on my workouts, but 1500 calories is like perfect for me. Yesterday I was so full and I only ate, I think I ate just under 1400 calories yesterday and I was like trying to force myself to eat something else and I just wasn't hungry. So I'm not gonna make myself eat something. So I'm eating after my workouts, I work out in the morning, I eat after my workouts and I do not eat anything after seven. So um, I will show you my breakfast here in a little bit, but I will show you um, like the breakdown, I've been using my fitness pal, so I'll kind of show you the breakdown in each of the meals. So you can kind of see the macros, you can see the calories, you can see all of that. So if you guys want to see my, hopefully, weight loss journey, um, I know it's kind of different than what I do on my channel, but I figured I'll just throw those in too. You'll still get your cleaning and organizing and motherhood videos, but this definitely ties in because it's what I'm going through right now. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like I said, make sure you subscribe and let's get started with breakfast. So this is my breakfast. I have one cup of egg whites. I have a piece of low carb bread with half of an avocado and some hot sauce and some lemon juice and salt and pepper, half a cup of strawberries. And then my coffee is like the Stoke coffee. And I have one tablespoon of almond milk creamer. This is the bread that I use. It's 100 calories for two pieces, but I only use one. And this is, kids are getting ready for camp. 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 And then this camp is every, the, camp every week. <laughs> the um, creamer that I use. I used to do milk, as you guys know, and some, a little bit of chocolate syrup, but I'm trying to switch it out and not have so much sugar. So I don't love this caramel flavor and my brother-in-law got me a coffee cake one and that one's not too bad, but this is the coffee that I use and then like I said, with one tablespoon of this. Okay, so this is the My Fitness Pal and this was my whole breakfast. I had my coffee, I had my avocado toast, I had half a cup of strawberries, four egg whites, um, and that was it. So it was a total of 268 calories and it has kept me super, super full. So now I am going to make my lunch. So this is my lunch. I found these Mission Street Tacos. They're the Carb Balance Whole Wheat Tortillas. You can have two of them for 70 calories. These little tacos I've been making are so, so good. So then I use this Hillshire Farm Honey Ham. And it's, I don't know where, oh, the stuff's like, the calories and stuff are on the inside, but I just scanned the barcode with my MyFitnessPal. And um, I think it's like 70 calories or something crazy for the amount of ham that I use. And then I use a piece of Land O'Lakes cheese, use yellow mustard for zero calories. And then I have a bag of these sour cream and onion pop chips. So good. I'll show you once I make it and how delicious and how much food. So this is my lunch, my little tacos. I put one piece of cheese between the two tacos and just a little bit of mustard. I don't measure out the mustard because I just did a tiny bit, but I do use my little kitchen scale to weigh out the ham. And then this has been my absolute favorite favorite. It is the aha, or I don't know if you say it a different way, but the orange in grapefruit. 
it's absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna sit down and get some work done and enjoy my lunch. Okay, so this was my lunch. You can see right at the top there, it is 310 calories. I know the mustard and the sparkling water, I do not need to, I only had one can, I don't know why the serving says two, but um, I know you don't need to track the zero calorie things, but I like to just out of habit. So I didn't in the morning with my hot sauce and lemon juice because I literally put like a splash in there. So that is it for the day. I did a leg workout today and I only, it says only 89 calories, but my watch said more. So, <clears throat> but I don't go by that anyway. So I still have like 900 or so um, calories left for dinner and my snacks. So these are really good options because they're all super low carb and they're a good amount of food, good amount of protein. I use the, I got the version of MyFitnessPal that you pay for and it was worth it because I can track and see all of my macros. Let me see here. <clears throat> and all of that so I can really go in and see, you know, breakdown of my breakfast, lunch, and dinner, just certain foods and all of that. So to me, it was totally worth it. This video sounds like it's sponsored by MyFitnessPal. I would love if it was, but it is not. I just <laughs> really like using it. So um, that is it. And like I said, I only go by this number here because this subtracts your exercise calories and then adding that in, but I only wanna stick to this. So I only pay attention to my goal which is 1500 every day, and then this number right here, and then once these two match or it's close, I am done for the day. It is a few hours later. I am going to have for like a little afternoon treat, one of these coffee chocolate chip Yasso bars. These are absolutely delicious, and they're 100 calories and I believe five grams of protein. They are so good and I just feel like I'm eating ice cream. It is almost two o'clock. I just had that Yasso bar, which you guys saw, but now I am just packing a snack. Leighton has rehearsal for her dance recital this weekend. I'm so excited. I haven't seen any of her dances. I haven't seen anything because of COVID, so tonight will be the first time I get to see anything. So I packed my snacks, and let me show you what I've got. Grape looks a little yucky. <laughs> So I've got one cup, minus one, of grapes already washed. I have a cheese stick and I have a Premier protein shake. So that is everything. Let me go get my phone so I can show you. All right, so here you can see all of my snacks. The cup of grapes, the Premier protein shake, the coffee ice cream bar, and my string cheese. I also added my dinner in there. Let's see. I have, I'm having four ounces of rotisserie chicken. Oh, I'll up that. Four ounces of rotisserie chicken, one cup of broccoli, and then for dessert, I'm going to have a cup of strawberries with some whipped cream on top. And then that still leaves me 155 calories, which I probably won't need. I don't know, everything I've been having is like super low calorie, but it's super filling. Like I'm kind of forcing myself to eat. So that is where we are. We're at 1345. And like I said, that is with my dinner added. And I forgot to mention, I've had these like the color changing cups from Amazon. I'm gonna top this off because I am leaving. But this, I've had three of these today. These are 24 ounces. Um, these are 24 ounces, so I have had, whatever that is, <laughs> just under 75 ounces of water today. And now I'm filling it up, but I only did a little bit more than half the way, but I'll have at least three more of these later on, so I'll have my gallon of water in for the day. All right, so this is my dinner. I weighed out four ounces of rotisserie chicken. I have one cup of steamed broccoli. I'm going to put a little bit of this on the side, the honey barbecue sauce. It is for two tablespoons. It's not focusing, sorry. 
um, two tablespoons is 60 calories. I am only going to have one tablespoon um, and drizzle it right on the top for 30 calories. And then to drink, I'm working on my regular water, but I'm also going to have one of these zero sugar vitamin waters. This is what it looks like with the barbecue sauce. Actually, one tablespoon was a lot. So um, that is good. And this is so good and so low calorie, low carb high protein and just delicious. So I'm so excited. I am gonna go wolf this down right and now. This is my last snack for the night. I have one cup of strawberries with two tablespoons of whipped cream and just a little drizzle, which I didn't measure that, but it's probably about half a teaspoon, or I'm sorry, half a tablespoon of chocolate sauce. And that is my dessert. And it is right before seven o'clock, about five minutes, and this will be my last meal of the night. All right, I look a hot mess. It has been a rough day. It has been downpouring off and on all afternoon here in Massachusetts. So I'm like a drowned rat, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I highly suggest you use my fitness pal. Let me actually, before I end this video, show you all of my numbers for the whole day. All right, let me flip you around. So my goal was 1500 and I actually ended up with 1464, which is really good because I have had a hard time actually hitting the 1500 because I'm eating such low calorie foods. So as you guys saw, my breakfast was 268. My lunch was 310. My dinner was 434, and I also put like my little dessert in there with that, like the um, strawberries and whipped cream and a little bit of chocolate drizzle on there. And then my snacks was 452. And then the only other thing I didn't add was my vitamin water, but that's zero calories as well. So my total day, uh, let's look at the nutrition part. Well, I went over in carbs. I always go over in carbs. I went over in carbs a ton. Whoopsies. But, I mean, I stayed within my calories. If they are super, super, super strict tracking macros, I don't know how my carbs went over so much today. Hmm. I'm sorry. Yeah, my carbs. Why? I think it was the grapes and all the fruit that I had because there is a good amount of carbs in the fruit. Yeah, because look at carbs 47 just in that. It must be like the whipped cream and all that other stuff too, but totally fine. Either way, I stuck within all of my calories and that is what I'm counting, not carbs or any of that. So I do try to stick to at least my protein goal and I got over 100 grams of protein today, so that's awesome. All right, so that is it for this video. Um, I highly suggest you guys go use MyFitnessPal or any sort of tracking app. Um, it totally works. It really keeps you like accountable. And it is seven o'clock and I am done eating for the rest of the day. Um, and that includes my vitamin water. Even though there's no calories or anything like that in it, it will still count towards me not fasting. So I will at least fast for 12 plus hours. I'll, I'll probably end up fasting for between 14 and 15 hours by the time I like eat after my workout tomorrow. So, and tomorrow's a heavy, heavy workout. So today was like my lighter day. Yesterday was a heavy carb day, carb, cardio day. Um, but tomorrow is like a heavy, heavy, intense workout. So um, I'm gonna drink the rest of this and we'll probably have at least one more. So that's I think 150 ounces of water or so. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know down below if you wanna see more of these videos, if you wanna see like my workout routine, if you wanna see all of that in like a little bit more in depth and kind of giving you guys updates along the way like i said earlier i know i asked you guys over on instagram and you guys said you definitely wanted to see it and all of that so um but let me know if you liked this video if you found it helpful you liked seeing all of like the macros and like everything kind of broken down so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye